we're back with editor Lee Smith. The editor takes all of the footage shot on set by the director and puts together the story and sequence of events for the final movie. Lee Smith began his career serving in an entry-level position at a post-production facility. Mr. Smith has gone on to serve as the editor on such films as Batman Begins, Inception, and X-Men First Class. Hi, I'm editor Lee Smith. You're watching Made in Hollywood. Here's the scene. This world's a treasure. It's been telling us to leave for a while now. So as an editor, how would you describe the duties and responsibilities that you had for Interstellar? You basically assemble each sequence as it's being shot. Uh, not all sequences can be complete, but they can be complete to a certain point. Even the visual effects sequences, you have to start to assemble them with a view that you know there's a, for in this film, a giant wave, for example, or, or something happening. We want to get down fast, don't we? Actually, we want to get there in one piece. Hang on. You start to construct it, even if you're just cutting to black with a little thing that says giant wave to get an idea of what's going to happen. And the job of the editor is to make sure it makes as much sense as it can make sense as you're going, or that you think even at 75% complete, you know that the other 25% may be being shot on a studio or a set or in another country. And you have to imagine that footage combined with your footage, imagine that's going to work, and then give the two thumbs up that we can keep moving. Make it count. Where's the mountains? Those aren't mountains. They're waves. And then there's the post period yes. where I assemble the entire movie while it's being photographed. And then once the six month shoot period is over, Chris will come into the editing room and then we'll start at the beginning and start to refine and just polish the movie. I'm not gonna make it. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Now that you are an editor working on these big films, do you ever feel like there's still more to learn or do you feel like you kind of know everything now? The great thing with this job is you learn something on every film. I mean, I've been doing it for a lot of years now and these films are so complicated that you literally have to reinvent things as you go. And there's just levels of complexity to the process that you're always learning. I started editing on film, now we edit digitally, so you have to make that transition. The digital platforms are evolving all the time, so you have to basically, you know, you're learning new steps the whole way. You can't just think about your family, now you have to think bigger than that. I'm thinking about my family and millions of other families. What advice do you have for any aspiring editors who want to be like you one day? Try to get into, you know, post-production facilities. Um, be prepared to work from the bottom up because you'll learn more. I think just be diligent, work hard. It's the usual thing in any career path, but if you're lucky, you will work with people that will let you do certain things and, and if you can shine then like everything you'll bubble to the top. Just work hard. We'll find a way that we always have.